Welcome to Cooking with the Cook Sisters, brought to you by the United States Botanic Garden. We're very pleased to be with you regularly to offer online cooking demonstrations and home garden tips. Hi, I'm Danielle Cook. We're well into summer and it's time to bite into those peaches and nectarines and apricots, all the wonderful stone fruits of summer. Today, we're gonna enjoy them hot off the grill. Then, the other cook sister, Adrienne, is in her garden dealing with summer pests, the four-legged and six-legged kind. She's got great tips on how to deal with the good, the bad, and the pollinators. Let's get grilling. We're going to serve the peaches today with a reduction of balsamic vinegar and a dollop of goat cheese. I'll start by simply cutting our peaches in half. The best peaches to grill are the ones that are firm and a little underripe. If the pits come out easily, take them out. If not, don't worry about it. We'll deal with this later. Drizzle the peaches with a little olive oil before you put them on the grill. The olive oil will prevent them from sticking. Place them skin side up and give them a couple of minutes to brown. Grilling the peaches will bring out their sweetness. As they grill, they will soften and bubble and the color will deepen. You'll know they're ready by the look and the touch. The peaches should feel soft when you give them a gentle squeeze. We'll set aside our beautifully grilled peaches while we make the balsamic glaze. Put the balsamic vinegar in a small saucepan and simmer it briskly until it reduces by half. Swirl the saucepan occasionally. As the vinegar reduces, you'll notice it begins to thicken slightly. The whole process will take about 10 to 15 minutes. The more vinegar you're using, the longer it will take to reduce. Let the finished glaze cool a bit before you dress the peaches. It's not uncommon to have stubborn pits in your peaches. A small melon baller can be just the right tool to solve that problem. Once pitted, fill the peaches with a little dollop of soft goat cheese. You could substitute a feta or a creamy herb cheese. Just before serving, drizzle the peaches with the cooled balsamic glaze. And garnish them with some chopped fresh mint. I like to serve these peaches either with the meal or at the end of the meal as a dessert. And now, let's go see how Adrienne's handling her summer critters. Hi, I'm Adrienne. Welcome to my jungle. Today, we're gonna go on a safari to look for bugs. The vast majority of insect visitors to the home garden are a welcome sight. The list of pollinators is long, and it includes bees like this one, beautiful cyphid flies or hoverflies, as well as beetles and other flying insects. Even when an elegant grasshopper nibbles on the honeysuckle flower, the damage tends to be minimal. Caterpillars, the larval stage of butterflies and moths, probably do the most damage in a garden. This one's taking a nap on a cucumber. A bucket of water spiked with ordinary dish detergent is your best defense against caterpillars and marauding beetles. Hand pick the bugs that are doing the damage and drop them in. Having said that, keep in mind the plants can sustain quite a bit of damage without any effect on productivity or even appearance. These are older bean plants. They've come to the end of their production and they're soon going to be pulled. So I'm not even going to try to stop the bugs. Thanks for joining me today. Next week we're going to be featuring cucumbers. So don't miss that. See you then.